we saw some sharks. Good morning from Bonnie Vale. We are up bright and early. We need to put the tent away and we need to head further down the coast. And hopefully today we're gonna to make it to Wollongong. So we've got a few stops along the way. And uh, yeah, one of them is the Grand Pacific Highway. I cannot wait. That's probably what I'm most excited for today, to be fair, so. Some of these roads in the national parks are just awesome. Uh, I can just imagine having like a motorbike and just zooming on through. It's just wicked. We're about 10 minute drive away from our first stop, but we have just seen the Grand Pacific Bridge, I think it's called. Uh, we are going over it later, but there is a lookout here, so we're gonna go check it out. What a lovely view this is. So just in the distance, about there, you can see it. The Sea Cliff Bridge. And there is our beautiful badge. We've just arrived at Old Helensborough Station. There is a little bit of parking on the street. So we parked there, I've seen some pictures, so I'm excited to have a look. That is so eerie. <laughs> Very creepy, but I'm gonna go inside. We are currently walking through Old Town Square train station. Woohoo! <laughs> and we can hear trains coming <laughs> from the new one, which is quite creepy. That was really cool. So it's a bit creepy, and we forgot to bring our LED light. There are going to be glow worms in there, but with our torches, you're not going to see them but that was so cool and very very scary <laughs> it's so dark in there you don't know if there's going to be rats spiders snakes but really really cool <laughs> wow i love this country this view is amazing so we are now at the bold hill lookout and we'll show you our view it's lovely it took us about 10 minutes from the Helmsborough station to get here, uh, so it's not far at all. It did take us a little bit out the way going to the Helmsborough station, but it was so worth it. It was so cool. <laughs> Lovely view for food. <laughs> Finally off to see the Sea Cliff Bridge, or at least drive over it anyway. So excited for this drive. point and we're gonna go see the bridge from the other side. 
We are now stood on the Sea Cliff Bridge. It was built in 2005. It is 665 meters long. On the day that it opened, 16,000 people actually walked across the bridge and that's how they opened it. It is awesome! We're going to head towards Wollongong and we're going to first stop at Mount Kiera Lookout. I don't know how much climbing that is or what. <laughs> Need to put our walking shoes on. <laughs> it's another bloody mountain, Jordan. Stop taking me to high places. <laughs> car park so we just thought we'd check it out it's called Sharky Beach but it's a surfing beach you can't really swim but we're just gonna have a little walk around it looks nice trying to get us to stop at loads of places which I had on my list originally but it would take too long too many stops to get to Melbourne we're on a strict we're on a strict timeline we can't see everything <laughs> so I need to keep telling them I reckon we can fit it all in but that was a nice beach you've got to stop nice, off there yeah. There's another lookout. No. <laughs> I've got to give a shout out to Australia's coastline here. This is epic. And I don't think we've really seen any of it, really. <laughs> no. But fair play. It looks amazing. Hey! Get me in the bloody ocean! Come on! <laughs> at the Mount Kiera lookout. I've not seen it but a helicopter just flew past and it was at eye level so the good thing was we didn't have to climb it we just drove at it. Yeah it was <laughs> easy to get up here. Oh wow <gasps> look at your face I'm trying to get a little, bit, a little bit better with heights, so that means coming to the edge. It's not so bad here. The day of adventure continues and in 13 minutes we are going to be heading to the botanical garden in Wollongong. I wonder how many of these places we're pronouncing correctly. <laughs> Probably none of them. <laughs> so let's go and see what this is like. It's getting very toasty at the moment. Oof.
<laughs> Stay hydrated. It is thought that around 5000 BC the cultivation of roses began in Persia and China and one of the main reasons uh, was to make perfume. They did use roses for other things like medicine and food and drink and yeah. The main reason was fragrance though. They smell nice. They do smell good. leaving the botanical garden we need to go get some LPG and then we are going to head to the camp for tonight. Our campsite is basically just a car park but it's next to a lake, I think it's Lake Cully and our view is absolutely gorgeous. Good morning everyone! <laughs> so where we were staying last night it's just a car park and it didn't have any showers so we're gonna head to the swimming pool where there's gonna be showers there and it's free to get in the swimming pool so we don't have to spend any money. Yeah! <laughs> in the morning we've had a quick dip we've had a shower and now we're on the way to Port Kembla lookout so this piece of artwork is called eyes on the horizon and it represents in World War II when the soldiers would look out onto the horizon for any threat. swim and we've done a bit of sunbathing we're gonna now head to Wingdang foreshore park there's a little beach there and should be quite a nice walk
So we've walked through to the beach and it's actually the opposite end of where we were earlier. You can see it all the way around there. And we are the only people here. This whole beach is ours. Yeah, get in. Hey, look who's in the passenger seat again. It's your boy, JJ. It's very hot. Jordan just loves to drive Padge because think she's badass and she drives him <laughs> basically. Am I wrong? Yeah. We've made it. Jordan was a little bit scared because of the drive-in was a little bit bumpy and a little bit gravelly. So apparently this is a really good place for snorkeling so let's hope we see something. We just went snorkeling in Bush Rangers Bay. <laughs> I seen online that it was really good for snorkeling. First 10 minutes, we seen like one or two fish. Then bang, <laughs> we saw some sharks. We saw about eight grey nurse sharks and <laughs> it was so scary. We didn't expect to see them there. And I did see one little stingray as well, but that was just awesome. <laughs> We've driven another five minutes, we're still in the base point reserve and we've come to check out the Maloney's Bay viewpoint and the bay itself. So let's see what this viewpoint looks like. How amazing is this? Sea views. such an awesome day today it's been absolutely amazing and if I'm being totally honest I'm pretty knackered at the moment but these days just keep coming so like we've got so much to do uh, I'm exhausted but would I rather be at work no so can't complain too much. Road is 
absolutely ridiculous. We've been up some mountain roads, but I don't think we've done one like this. We're just driving through Bundaroo National Park to get to our campsite and we've just seen the sign for Jumbaroo Lookout and <laughs> we'll see what we can see. <laughs> Not a lot. This is what it should look like on a normal day. But obviously it's a bit cloudy today so I can actually see the clouds moving past my face. Never had that before, but I like to be on the ground. <laughs> 